today. We've come to Shaftesbury to visit the lofts of Bill Woods, a top national flyer. Thanks very much for letting me come and see the pigeons today, Bill. That's right, you're most welcome. It could have been a better day, a bit, no. bit overcast, but yes. it is winter anyway. Yeah, it's back don't we? Yeah. yeah. That's a nice pigeon, a grizzle. Yeah, there's a little grizzle. Desmond Matisse Kirkland lines across from Van der Es. He's been up uh, eight winds up to now. He's won from St Malo with a headwind, and Nance with a classic. Four times he's won from Saints and also from Bergerac. Uh, well, at the moment I fly all with wood, but I'm going to try a few hens on, with my stock birds now I'm retired. Yeah. Do you find they fly well on Woodward on the distance then? I fly right through to uh, Paul with them, yes. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. This is the scene inside Bill's Woodward section. How many Woodward sections have you got, Bill? Two sections. Uh, at the moment I've got uh, 16 in each side. Yeah, and what do you actually, do you like all sorts of racing, all sorts of distances? Yeah. Yes, right from the start to the end, from the 535. Yeah, when do you pay your Woodward's up? Either the 1st or the 14th of February, whichever the weather is nicest. Yeah. How about training? When do you start the training? They train on the, once I take the hand away, the hands are taken away when the youngsters, the youngsters are 15 days, and then the cocks don't go back to the hands again until they've raced. Yeah. And you find that you like, you like the wood for the distance as well, then? Um, yes. I, I, you can hold birds in better condition. Than, I think, anyhow, and not only that, you, it's much easier to to pace them right. This is one of the uh, Wildermish line from the uh, Mitchell Brothers cross with Luella, Luella. It's a uh, champion year in, in the West of England combine the year before last. It was one top the combine from Plymouth and there were six open in two weeks on the trot. But uh, unfortunately, he doesn't like headwinds, which we had last year, so he didn't score. No. It's so, a lovely pigeon, that one, isn't he? Yeah. He's certainly a good looking pigeon, this one, Bill. Yes. Another widow of cock? Another widow of cock. Yeah, certainly lovely. He say he won the combine. Top the combine we had over 6,000 birds. Yeah. And was sixth again from the same race point. How long have you been in the fancy then, Bill? Started the first season in 1954 with young birds where we were lucky to win first and second in the first race we entered. Yeah. And uh, we flew natural then, but over the last seven or eight years we've been flying woodwork. Yeah, so it, it's very unusual to find you know, constant pigeons on the woodwork when it on the channel. Usually it's um, normally regarded to be a sprinting method. I, I find them just as good. I've got a cockbird in there that was scored from 500 miles to within the fortnight with yeah. the Classic and the National. How about feeding your Woodward cocks in? Do you break them down like the same and feed them the same for the short as Some, what you do for the long? I, I think the feeding is the, is the balance out because the, the definitely for the distance you've got to feed heavier yeah. and, and a longer period but for the sprint, which we don't get a lot of sprinting, no. but the, you want to break them down and just feed them up towards the, well, you, the you end break, You break them down longer for the sprint races? Yes, yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. Some of the distance birds are not broken down bar, bar the day after they get home from a race. Yeah. They're, they're brought back on to a do you act, For the longest old bird race, do you actually still leave them on Widowood or do you leave the hens with them? I leave them on Widowood. They don't see the hens until they get back from the race. I see. Do, do you show them the hens on a Friday night? No, they're never shown, not from the first race to the mm. last race. How long do you leave the hens with the cops when they come home then? Doesn't, I don't any specific time, quite often it's to the last bird's home on the short races and perhaps a couple of hours on the longer ones if there's a few birds that are still to come. Yeah. This is the old Verhey Matisse Cross that uh, flies up outstandingly up to 370 miles, never been passed there. He scored twice this year from, from Saints. It's uh, 49th open the Saints National. He's scored there now at least six times. Mm. Also scored from Nance and Wrens in the Classic. This is Bill's young bird section, which contains his hens at this time of year. How about young birds then, Bill? How many breed each year? Somewhere between 40 and 50 of uh, 
if there's a good breeding season. Yeah. Do you like your babies to fly the channel? No, I, don't, I very seldom send a bird over the water. I may send one or two to Guernsey. Do you tend to concentrate on racing the hens more as babies because they're on widowed? Yes, the cockbirds have some. I only have one one race. We may have three, or according to what conditions have been like. Yeah. And the hens go through the rest of the inland program. How about training your babies? Do you actually uh, sort of train them a long way and? Do no. You, do you give them a lot of work? They go up to about 35 miles as young birds training. They get a couple from there. Most of it stays at about 20. And uh, I don't train much in between racing. His hens setting up well, Bill. I think so. They've had a nice malt this year. Yeah. I think there's been a better malt in this season than the last. I suppose pigeons this time of year look at their best anyway. It's saying well, to look good this time of year, aren't they? If they don't look good now, you've had it for next season, I'm afraid. Yeah. What families of pigeons you actually keep in? Um, or a mixture, but basically it's the Wildermersh for the uh, up to Saints, and the, I'll keep the, the Bold Van der Esp line for the one finish off the 500 mile racing. Yeah. Well, Bill, I really enjoyed your visit, mate. Thanks very much for inviting